Hey guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm from IIT Varsity, a free open online university for students and professionals. Uh, we are working on a playlist uh, for Hadoop certification um, and uh, this is for C CCA 175 in which we are covering uh, Spark and um, um, topics like Scoops, Spark and other stuff. I'm working on a Spark with Scala version. So guys, in this video, what I'll do is uh, I'll um, uh, so this in this video what we'll cover is how one can uh, read uh, files from um, Hive and how one can read Hive files and how one can read uh, JSON files as well. So I hope you uh, remember that how one can uh, simply um, um, so what uh, what do we require is that we need to copy that Hive site.xml from uh, Hive uh, config folder to the config folder of spark i hope you remember that right and uh, so in this what we'll do is uh, so this is my console Now guys, I have uh, started my Spark context uh, through the same command which was uh, we used as submitting it as a Spark shell and I used master as yarn because I want to run it on a yarn uh, board. So now uh, how to access uh, Hive or HDFS files is just simply go here and uh, copy this part. What it will do is it will import the high context. So the path is or Apache Spark SQL high high context. Okay. So it what it will do is it will import the high context, right? So once the high context has been imported, what you can do is you can initiate uh, initialize SQL context through high context. And then, um, with the help of uh, SQL context, you can query around the departments. Now, as soon, as soon as we query around the departments, I have initialized a variable called as depth. What it will do is it will create an RDD of depth in which all the values from the depth department tables will uh, will be collected and uh, will. So this RDD will actually correspond to uh, the department table. Uh, in general which is there in hive so let me copy paste this and let me run this so now uh, okay and let me see if table not found departments okay let me see why the table has not been found yeah so guys the reason was that a uh, high side dot xml was not present in my con folder so that that is one i copied and once i again uh, ran the same query it uh, ran successfully right so now i have a variable called as depths so if I'll say dep dot collect dot for always use tab uh, if you're not comfortable dot Sorry, not for each print ln. So, ideally, what it should do is it should print all the values uh, which were there, right. So now as you can see it has uh, printed all the values. 
So this is the e easiest way how one can access five tables through Spark. So let me uh, go through the steps again. All you need is you need to copy the hive.site.xml into the same folder, the conf folder. Initialize high context, initialize SQL context, and then use a query, whatever you want to do. And then simply, uh, once you have the RDD, you can simply uh, perform any action. In this case, I have performed println. Now, guys, remember that we used uh, we used to use that uh, uh, CTAS, uh, which was create table table name as S select star from departments. So what it will do is it will create a new table called as departments Scala Spark, which will come from departments. And uh, let me do this. And so main uh, reason why we had used this is that you can do everything you which which you are already doing in um, Hive. You can simply do the same in here as well. Okay. And now if I'll say depths again. It should give the same results, right? Let me see why the error has came. No such object. Uh, this is old one. Sorry. Yeah, because earlier it was not there, and then when we created it, uh, it ran successfully. So I think this is it about uh, how so we can run insert load and validate high query in high context, which is very easy. Now the other part is how one can load JSON. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll put a JSON file. So for that I already have created a file called as departments dot JSON and I have um, uh, copied the same file in this location Scala Spark. Let me show you where it is. Here it is, right? So you can see a JSON file over here. So guys, what I need to do is I need to, um, um, again, I need to um, initialize a SQL context. Earlier we had initialized a, um, um, in this uh, high context, but now I need, need to initialize um, SQL context. And once a SQL context has been initialized, I can directly use JSON file through this command, right? So what I'll do is I'll import SQL context first. Correct. And now what I'll do is I'll say well department JSON, which should give me uh it should give me a json file uh, in this uh, department json right uh, in version i think uh, from version 1.3 they had introduced uh, data frames right so i'm not sure whether the same has been in uh, same have been used here as well or not so let's see whether um, what i can do is now uh, now as i have the rdd of a uh, department json or i can register a table onto the same uh, let me go through this process which is a uh, departments table it has done that and what i'll do is i'll run a query onto it and then I would like to print what the uh, I would like to print what the 
uh, values are in the same. Now you can see that, right? Uh, it has printed all the values. So have you seen the power of uh, Spark SQL? I think we have been using that over here. And uh, once that is done, you can save the file also uh, in a text format like to JSON and then uh, save as text file. That is what is needed. So if I'll copy it, And it must have saved it. It has saved it into two parts. The reason why, because we are using a uh, uh, two. Uh, processors and instances at the same time now what i can do is i can view it i think um, this is very simple and it should give us the correct value into again a json format only Right, so all the data is back again in a JSON format. So, guys, uh, this is all about uh, um, how to read and how to write files in Hive and in JSON format. For more videos, kindly subscribe to our channel, which is here only. So, thank you for the your time and uh, uh, kindly subscribe to our channel, and uh, you'll get lots of uh, other playlists uh, in the list as well uh, mainly uh, these we are covering big data and uh, oracle base and uh, other things as well thank you guys